Exam Questions Answers, NEB, HSEB, 2064, Question number 9A. Group A, Question number 9A, 20 men can do a piece of work in 24 days. After working for 6 days, an additional number of men is taken to finish the work in 21 days from the beginning. Find the number of additional men. So this is the problem of this is the problem of ratio and proportion. Equity in question, 20 men can do a piece of work in 24 days. After working for six days, an additional number of men is taken to finish the work in 21 days from the beginning. Find the number of additional men. Solution. According to the question, in 24 days, 20 men can do a work. In 24 days, 20 men can do a piece of work. Therefore, in one day, 20 men can do less work. That means 1 by 24 work. In six days, in six days, 20 men can do 1 by 24 into 6, that means 6 plus 24, 1 by 4 work. In six days, 20 men can do 1 by 4 work. Because according to the question, 20 men can do a piece of work in 24 days. After six days, an additional number of men is taken. That means in six days, 20 men can complete 1 by 4 work. And after six days, additional men is taken to finish the work in 21 days from the beginning. So let's make a table. Let's make the table and apply the method of ratio and proportion. We are given men, days, and work. The number of men is given 20, days is given 6. 20 men in 6 days, they can do 1 by 4 work. And after 6 days, an additional number of men is added. Let's suppose additional number of men is x, so total men will be 20 plus x. And the work is, after adding x men, the work is completed in 21 days from the beginning. So x days, 20 men, they have already worked for 6 days, so 20 minus 6, that means 15. So remaining days will be equal to 15. And the remaining work is 1 minus 1 by 4. Total work is 1, and 1 by 4 work is already completed. So 1 minus 1 by 4, we get 3 by 4 work. Now 20 plus x, that means total men are 20 plus x, and remaining days is 15, because they have to complete total work in 21 days, and 6 days they have already worked. So remaining number of days is 15. So total men 20 plus x, they need to work 15 days, and they have to finish 3 by 4 work. Now by the compound variation, the relation between men and days and work. The relation between men and days is indirect, and the relation between men and work is direct. So taking the ratio of men and days, and combining with work. So the ratio of men, 20 plus x by 20, and the ratio of days, we have to take just opposite of the ratio of men. We have taken the ratio of 20 plus x by 20, so we have to take the ratio of 6 by 15, because they are in indirect proportion. So 20 plus x by 20, we can write 6 by 15 into men and days, they are in direct proportion. So 20 plus x by 20, 20 plus 1 x by 20 will be equal to 3 by 4 divided by 1 by 4. So we have to take the ratio of men and work in the same direction. So 20 plus x by 20 as it is, 6 by 15 as it is, 3 by 4 Divide, change, and multiply. 1 by 4 will be 4 by 1. 4 will cancel. 3 5 is 15. We get 6 by 5. 20 plus x by 20 is equal to 6 by 5. Now cross multiplication. 20 plus x into 5. 6 into 20. So we get 6 20, 120. 20 into 500. 5 into x, 5x. 100 plus 5x is equal to 120. Therefore, 5x is equal to 120 minus 100. So 5x is equal to 120 minus 100. We get 20. 5x is 20, so x is equal to 5 for the 20. 20 divided by 5, we get x value 4. Therefore, additional men is 4. Therefore, according to the question, 4 men, 4 additional men are needed to complete the work in 21 days from the beginning. If 20 men can do a piece of work in 24 days, and after working 6 days, additional number of men is taken to finish the work. Question number 9b, exam questions answer, NEB SCB 2064, group A. An article was sold at its smart price for Rs. 6,200 and a discount of 15% was allowed. The dealer still made a profit of 25%. Find the cost price. An article was sold at its smart price for Rs. 6,200 and a discount of 15% was allowed. The dealer still made a profit of 25%. Find the cost price. So this is the solution. This is the problem related to profit and loss. The smart price of article is Rupees 6,200. Discount is given 15%. Discount is given 15%. And profit is given 25%. And we have to find the cost price of the article. We know that selling price, when discount is given, the formula of selling price is MP minus discount percent of MP. 
and when profit is given then the formula of sp is cp plus profit percent of cp so by using these two formula and combining both the selling price will get the value of cp sp is equal to mp minus discount percent of mp this is the formula of selling price sp is equal to that means selling price is equal to mp minus discount percent of mp the value of mp that means smart price is given 6200 minus discount percent is 15 percent of mark price means 6200 6200 as it is 15 percent means 1500 into 6200 6200 minus 15 zero zero cancel get 15 is 62 15 is 62 we get 2930 so 62000 minus 930 we get 5270 now we can use the formula of sp according to profit percent sp is called cp plus p percent of cp we have to calculate cost price so let's suppose cp as x profit is given 25 percent 2500 cp we have supposed x 2500 into x so after taking LCM, we get 100x plus 25x by 100. We get 125x by 100. Combining selling price. Selling price is called selling price. SP is called, we have got 5270 according to discount. Selling price after discount. And uh, selling price according to profit, we have got SP is called 125x by 100. So by combining the two SP, we get value of x. Cross multiplication, 5270 into 100 by 125. The value of x, we get 4216. Therefore, CP. CP means cost price is 4216, which is the cost price of the given article.